as soon as we get in there, yeah. we're all just going to go. Like take our tops off. I don't want to take my top off. See how you I, feel. I mean, if you all do, I oh, will. Well. <laughs> I am baking a shoe pastry sculpture of an MMA octagon. In the middle will be two icing competitors named Prue and Paul. Will they be fighting clothed or naked? <laughs> you have to be clothed oh. in MMA. I can make you a private one if you want. If yes, you... please. Yeah. Sounds delicious. <laughs> You look like a superstar DJ. They're official onion goggles. <laughs> and they're brilliant. You don't cry. Interesting. I wear these if I think someone's going to break some bad news. I say, hang on a minute, can I just go and get my onion goggles? <laughs> to get a bit of extra steam or something, you kind of flick them with a bit of water. May have looked at a YouTube vid. <laughs> oh, my God. Some people were meant to bake, and some people were meant to be baked for. And respectfully, I am of the latter. To those in the know, what Prue's actually <laughs> doing here is she's locking in a triangle choke. Right. <laughs> which would make Paul either submit or pass out. I like the idea that I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe does taste quite nice, actually, and it's baked well. Well done, Blake. Oh. Mm. oh that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Prue has actually taken home the icing sculpture of her and Paul fighting. She wants that in her house. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, yeah. it's time for your technical challenge. We're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to stagger your start times. Prue would like you to bake four chocolate fondant puddings. Oh, my gosh. Hey, that is sick. I've never used one of these. That's what it's doing. I have a feeling mine's going to come out really nice. You said that before, and look no, what happened. but this time, I'm so confident. I'll be honest. That is world class. Not even in the oven yet. Too cocky for me. Yeah. He'll learn. He'll learn. I'll be very honest, I've won. <gasps> oh, God, I've forgotten the flour. Damn. Oh, I forgot the flour. Oh, I've lost. <laughs> I forgot the flour. Oh, you forgot the flour too? I forgot it, Gareth. Oh, we're so sorry. <laughs> Ruby, did you remember the flour? Yes, I did. Oh, my gosh. As ever in a technical challenge, Paul and Prue will blind taste the bakes. How does that come out? Oh. <laughs> Don't eat it all at once. Wow, this is a disaster. Baker number two, you have one minute remaining. Okay. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Hollywood, enjoy your meal. I think this was baked enough. They just it's stuck. Done. Bacon number three, you have one minute left. Oh. <laughs> I've got more if you want, OK? <laughs> Bacon number four, you have one minute left. Boom. If you trip, i would kill you. <laughs> Compliments of the chef. I'm impressed. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Wow, so that's the tent. <laughs> well done, you, to get involved. What are you doing? We are doing some biscuits that are going to be Arsenal-themed. You two better watch out. It'll be a judge next week. Oh, yes. Go on, Annie. They don't break. Very noisy. I can't hear, cos Annie Mack's whacking. I can't stop. It's a spiral of violence. Annie whack. Is there any bacon powder to go in? It just says flour. Do you think the recipe's wrong? It's probably bruised. It might be. You can see straight away. Yeah, that's intentional. Uh, the thickness. This is artisan food, Paul. Let me tell you a little bit about food. <laughs> this is artisan food. It's not yeah. supposed to be identical. These biscuits are made from love, and love comes in different shapes and sizes. Great flavour. Hand shake, hand shake, hand shake. <laughs> I know what he's going to oh, do. Come on, I won't let you do that. Oh! <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Take no notice. <laughs> I wonder, should I do a bit more netting? You're trying to get air into it so it's less dense. The only way you do that is by netting it. Why on the street is that instead of kneading dough, you keep calling it netting dough? <laughs> Just because I don't know the baking lingo. In my opinion, it's an upgrade. Yeah. Don't let anyone else <laughs> tell you otherwise. Okay. I am doing a stout chocolate cake, and I'm doing it in the shape of a horrible pub I used to work in. I was once sick on the pub floor, uh, so I'm going to do a little pool of fondant sick Obviously with the carrot. Oh, delicious. Yes. Yes. I mean, what could be nicer than fondant sick? 
So that's Noel slumped over the bar. I'm slumped down there on the other side. I've just been sick. And who's the ghost? That's Paul. It's haunted by the ghost of Paul Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> the fondant on top is not too thick. The filling is just right. It really is a very, very good cake. And that's real carrot in the sick. Woo. Amazing. <laughs> well done. This is it, guys. It's crack on, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Steady on, Eddie. Am I going too fast? Are we got a dame and a sir? Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah. A dame, a sir, and a queen. So what are you called? <laughs> Master Baker? Yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> this is a mess. Now I'm in trouble. Ah! That's my reward. I said I haven't done this before. <laughs> Obviously, there was issues with this, and it's down to the bake itself. I think it needed a bit longer. Beautiful taste. Mango's fantastic with it. I think you might have invented something. It's the mozzi meringue mess. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my lawyers? <laughs> Today, the judges would love you to make an exquisite biscuit portrait of your favourite celebrity hero. I'm making a biscuit of Paul's face. I just feel like, make your intentions clear. Do you know what I mean? I heard a rumour that your oven is used for... To keep wine in. <laughs> that's how what? I, it's because I don't cook. <laughs> how do I know when that's done, though? You're asking the wrong. <laughs> You've only been presenting it for 100 years. Block it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking cake. <laughs> OK, so it looks like two fallopian tubes in the women's reproductive system. But actually, it's RuPaul in biscuit form. And item one, it's Paul here. I really admire what you're doing. <laughs> RuPaul's body and breasts have gone into the oven. This, this is going to make history. I should go on the real bake off. <gasps> oh! Oh, my God, the nose started disappearing. That was, there was a literally, that just disappeared. No, no! Oh, oh! No! 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 no. <laughs> Bakers, your time is up. <sighs> Don't. No. I mean, I can see the likeness. I think the blue eyes and the look of Father Christmas. Um, <laughs> that is really good. It's really impressive. And it's impressive because you've attempted so much. Well done. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>